now that Adidas has dropped me, and now that I'm finally losing white people's money, well, now I give a shit about what you black people think. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to talk about why Kanye is a cautionary tale. I'm sure you've seen a few of his meltdowns. I made a video a couple weeks ago about um, his White Lives Matter Fashion Week thing. If you hear any weird sounds, it's my dog licking my fingers. Okay, just to get that out of the way. So I think it was on TMZ. I saw him talking to a reporter, basically finally apologizing, but in a very backhanded way. He doesn't, he really doesn't understand like why black people are offended, but he understands that they are. And he said after, you know, cause Adidas dropped him, Adidas said, bye, yay. B-Y-E, highlighted the Y-E. I think what's funny is like, we see all these things about celebrities and media and like net worth and companies doing this, that, the other thing, but I don't realize exactly how much money is invested in that, in that situation. So I didn't really put together like, oh, he's not a billionaire anymore, I guess, because he's not like associated with Adidas in that way. And so he was talking about basically how he, he lost his coin and now he f understands the feeling of having a knee on your neck. Could we get any more ignorant? Like he cannot read the room. To wear a White Lives Matter shirt with Candace Owens, end up apologizing on TV and saying, you know, now that Adidas has dropped me and now that I'm finally losing white people's money, well, now I give a shit about what you black people think and you've made it so that I feel that I have a knee on my neck. What is the knee on your neck? You said anti-Semitic things. You say things that hurt the black community. You go and talk to Fox News, and then you call the consequences of your actions, which are just literally people not wanting to be associated with you anymore. He also apparently showed corn to some adidas execs to like prove his point <laughs> he's he's a narcissist like i understand that he has a lot of mental health issues but he still is like he's manipulating people like for a situation where he thinks it's appropriate to like show corn to prove your point in any setting but especially a professional set but in any setting it's just like there's a lot of like manipulation going on where it like crosses the line into very very much mistreating people and very very much only caring about your own agenda and i understand he needs help but like he also needs to get help like it's it's to the point where you're hurting people like just for fun in my personal opinion but you know all of this causing adidas to not want to associate with him anymore and he's finally losing money that is not having a knee on your neck. That is like, and the reason I say Kanye is a cautionary tale is because you can tell how, how loud the white man in his head is. Do you know what I'm saying? Like he very, and it, it's, I don't know. He's a very dichotomous character because while there are so many things about him that have been so iconic to the black community, at the end of the day, he does get, plastic surgery and he convinced his mom to get plastic surgery and that's how she died and then he goes on the internet and says guess who the doctor was oh he was jewish he goes i'm not i'm not gonna say who the doctor was i'm not gonna name names he was jewish it was he's he's nuts and we know that he's nuts but he's being harmfully nuts right now and the rate of harm is is high it's it's he's efficient and quick like i feel like it hasn't been very long but so much has happened every day more terrible things happen and at a certain point doesn't somebody need to pull the plug on your mic you know i think kanye serves as an example of when you try to sort of both use the power of your culture against 
your culture for your own benefit and profit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he very much, and it's not even just that he's married into the Kardashians, even though, you know, they're divorced now, but it's the fact that he, you know, wears White Lives Matter shirts and only cares once white people start to get mad and he starts to lose white people's money because he felt kind of untouchable. I think he felt like he had gotten so much success that now racism, but not even just racism, but like laws of society don't apply to him anymore, that he doesn't need to be palatable. He can go on television, say whatever he wants. Cause there was an interview, I don't know who it was with, but I remember seeing it where he said, I could literally say something anti-Semitic and Adidas wouldn't drop me. He had mentioned that on an interview and then he, I, he was trying it out. And it's also like his whole, that thing that said he's addicted to the feeling of shame, which I just, just like go, <laughs> go to some sort of dominatrix and pay her to do that in private and keep it in one room. Don't do it on the world stage and mess everyone up. Like, but he, lo he loves it. And you can tell he loves the attention and he loves the spectacle and he loves the lore, but he was wrong. Like you will actually get dropped by Adidas as you should. But I think a lot of people, specifically Kanye type people with that sort of attitude, you know, that very, that very Gemini attitude, to be honest. And did you guys know my ex was born the same day as Kanye? Anyway, that very boastful, arrogant attitude. Say you're, say you're a black man with that kind of Kanye energy. I think sometimes they think that they can, you know, escape escape regular hierarchies and jump to the top and they will become untouchable even while continuing to say things that are a little bit menacing or what they consider to be rebellious, what they consider to be free speech, right? They think that they can get to a certain level of success and they will stay up there and their behavior will no longer matter because historically that's what white men get to do when they get a certain amount of success, right? And so that's why I say Kanye is a bit of a cautionary tale in the sense of, you know, I think he flew too close to the sun, uh, what he perceived to be the sun, which is a sort of very white patriarchal power. It's a, it's a white man, he plays a white man's game a lot of the time. And I think the people who wanted to ignore that before can't really do that anymore. It's becoming more and more obvious and less and less tolerable to the point where it's just like, you're, you're only burning bridges. You're not making friends. And no man actually is an island, even though he wants to believe that. You're not, see, you're sinking. You're a sinking ship right now because you've burned every relationship with anyone who would help you really you're just on social media every other week calling out different celebrities saying and and fuck you too and i hate your grandma and your dog is ugly and it's it's so much and like photoshopping what did he do with bella H or not bella hadid Gigi hadid maybe he photoshopped the boots boots on her i don't know the Kardashians and Kanye West have some crazy like photoshopping assistants. Um, <laughs> yeah, but not only is it was his idea of like full and complete power and immunity not achievable, not just for because the thing is like, yes, white men get away with more than black men do. And he had the idea that he can escape it because he's super rich and cool, I guess. He thought he was super rich and cool. And so not only is it less likely for you as a black man to be immune to falling off or having people drop you and defund you, 
but I also like don't know I mean I guess Republicans no yeah okay Republicans say crazy crazy stuff I was gonna say like did they even go that crazy and wild but when you think about Trump when you think about the worst that Trump has done and who and how much support he's still gotten and how much funding he's still gotten yeah but I mean I don't know a lot about net worth you know I don't know a lot about like who has how much net worth but I think there's a difference between how it works with like somebody who just has money say these say these people have similar amounts of money but I think old money matters and family money matters and family ties matter and old alliances matter and the oldest alliance is the alliance of the white man you know what I'm saying so I think it's different when people support Trump and people support Trump's businesses. I think it's because those those white men, those Republican white men who are like very, very pro Trump see themselves in him, but they're not seeing themselves in Kanye. I think Kanye mistakes sometimes what seems to be like camaraderie because people are like, oh yeah, like even his interview with Tuck Carlson, like being like, we're both, landing on the same level of like we respect free speech and we pretend we don't understand the weight of certain words and phrases in tandem with one another and we go well white lives matter because they do and he mistakes people people like Tucker Carlson and Republicans and Fox News fucking with him for that reason as them really fucking with him a and as them seeing themselves in him and that's what like you know how he tweeted get out is about me he honestly needs to remember that because i think he tries to act like the slave master sometimes and he finds himself in a pickle and he's like oh i just lost a lot of money um i apologize because now i understand what it's like to feel a knee on my neck you're it nobody has sympathy for you anymore i used to have sympathy for kanye long time ago when he was just going through <clears throat> a lot of health issues or mental health issues and a lot of breakdowns over social media that weren't weren't acceptable but it wasn't so frequent and consistent and aggressive and harmful as it is now to the point where I still just was like, he just needs help, you know? But at this point, you're getting to the point where people are tired of this. People are tired of you doing this. Like, it's gonna be hard for people to really fuck with him after this for how much damage he's doing, just like, without caring at all. In my personal opinion. What do you think, Miss Violet? But yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this topic. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you still support Kanye? Do you think other people should still support Kanye? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will talk to you next time. Bye.